When it rains under the clouds, thoughts, we have no choice but to listen and observe. The television screens make it seem like Monday mornings are a day to hate. I would push the limits to challenge those thoughts. There's something about these cold days in the winter that have me thinking beyond the moon's rotation. I don't get to think much in the long days of the summer because I'm too concerned with the sunshine. There are many reasons to love the short days in December as my connection with God betters. Try praying during the long nights and you tell me what it's like to converse with angels. To be honest, I love wrapping my body like a present indoors. Sometimes my mood chooses to hate the cold though my humble eyes retaliate to dreams I see when the water pours onto the windows. Beautiful dead leaves stuck on the sharp edges of the fence reminds me of a friend that once passed. Flashbacks of the days gone by turn my experiences into a reflective one. Like when the snow assembles on the windows of a car it reminds me of life. For me to see my reflection, I would have to clean up the screen, blocking me from reality. And sometimes I don't bother, so I walk on down the road, regretting the mistakes I left on the bus. With the people arguing if the windows should be open or should be shut, I regret not defending the weak by standing up. And it seems like walking in the winter is the best. My hands hooked onto a whirlwind of hot chocolate, comfy shoes like Uggs for the ladies, and I still choose to rock Air Forces. Style when it's cold is appealing. As I like getting creative with some garments and woolly hats, just finding ways to stay warm. Winter is a time that loved ones find each other in spaces they haven't occupied before. Every evening feels like a Sunday and all you want to do is snuggle up. TV shows suck, so I wait for the holiday season as cartoons like Lion King are the highlight of my night. Back to back films with my nieces and nephews, I wonder what they paint in their minds. My mother, the epitome of love. The smallest things are made reality in the winter and she believes in every ambitious part presented by her daughters and sons. The Friday nights and Hogman does my boys in Leicester Square is all I can think of. Truth be told, I can write an essay about how amazing it looks to live in cold London. How the beautiful Tower Bridge lights up the river of our minds. I can't deny my dislike towards temperature so I still choose to walk with a big jacket and a wand. Tucked in my pocket, dreaming of a magic trip to see spring again. But I remind myself of how privileged I am to be sitting here pouring my ink onto paper about these beautiful warm winter days.